Good morning team, hope you guys are doing well today. Welcome to the Path Less Traveled. My name is Ryan and this is Jillian. And today is a very exciting day because we are taking on one of New Zealand's great walks. We are in Fiordland National Park and we're about to, or we already have started, the Kepler track, which is a 60 kilometer track, four days, about 15 kilometers a day through the amazing Fiordland National Park. If you have been subscribed to me for a while, you might remember my Doubtful Sound trip a few months back and Doubtful Sound is also in Fiordland National Park. So amazing diverse landscapes of lakes, fjords, mountains, just incredible really. So we're gonna take you guys along and show you what the Kepler track is all about. Welcome to the Luxmore hut on Mount Luxmore. This is where we will be spending the first night of three nights on the Kepler track. This is a massive hut. It sleeps over 50 people in these bunks that you see behind me. This is one of the bunk rooms and it's kind of first come first serve for bunks. So you get here earlier, you get a better choice of bunk. It was really cool on the way up here, kind of just seeing how the landscape changes. We have this amazing beach forest on the way up for like 90% of the track. And then for like the last 30 or 40 minutes of the track, you break through into just like tussock land above the tree line. The trees just totally stop. I'll show you guys the, how abruptly the tree line stops. You can kind of see it all around the lake. Um, all, sorry, on the mountains that border the lake. Um, so that was really cool. So this will be home for the night. to day two of the Kepler track. We woke up bright and early this morning and we looked outside and we just had these amazing views. The whole valley has just been shrouded in this crazy blanket of clouds. So everyone down at sea level right now is probably like, wow, today's gonna be a shit day because there's all this cloud. But up here, it's blue skies and cloud is all underneath us. We just have this sea of cloud in the valley. It's incredible. So today we're headed to the Iris Burn Hut. We have five or six hours more of hiking up and around Mount Luxmore and then descending down into another valley. So it should be a great day up on top of the mountains here. I would never have expected feeling so connected. It must have been our destiny.
I'm not gonna lie guys, day two is definitely harder than day one. There was a lot of up and down, but it was seriously totally worth it. You guys saw the views that we had with that blanket of cloud over the lake in the morning and then kind of just going along the ridge of all the mountains throughout the day and then finally dropping back down to the forest and to where we are now at Irishburn Hut. We're at about 500 meters now, whereas we started today at about 1,000, then we went up some more, I think we went up about 300 more, and now we're back to 500 meters. And the descent was honestly the hardest part of today. For whatever reason, like I would way rather be going up than going down, but we made it and the Irishburn Hut, which you guys see right behind me here, is incredible. We just took a quick dip in the waterfall, in the pool of the waterfall, which is just like a 20 minute walk from here. That's nice. And really, the only other thing to share about the Irishburn Hut is <laughs> try not to get eaten alive by the sandfly. So bring your bug spray, bring you know, layers to cover up all your skin because any exposed skin, they are going to attack you. And you guys can see how uncomfortable I am right now, trying to get rid of them all. Um, so the plan for the rest of the night is just to enjoy ourselves at the hut here, relax, get ready for tomorrow, and just talk to some people. We meet in the hut and play some board games I think we're gonna do tonight is on the docket. Unfortunately, we finished all our scrumpy last night, so that's okay, we'll play some games instead. <laughs> 